In order to get students interested in this field, um, it's important to, to try to do hands-on types of, of work with them. Even in college, in all the classes that I teach, I try to do hands-on exercises. Because the younger kids that we have now are very into technology, and they're, they're very interactive, and they like to play a lot of games. And those environments are actually very good for teaching some of these different aspects. Uh, having people come in and speak, you want to give them the content and then you want to let them um, explore. So I think that's very important because this is a field a lot of people aren't very familiar with. They graduate from high school and are unaware that they can go into this discipline. So human performance practitioners can be psychologists, they can be engineers, uh, mechanical engineers, system engineers, human factors engineers, they can be physiologists, so looking at the way the human body responds to different circumstances, they can be biologists, uh, again looking at the way uh, your internally, your cells and your organs respond to different situations, uh, they can be ergonomists, which is the way that individuals interact with different uh, objects or systems. They could be graphic designers, so designing things that are aesthetically appealing uh, to individuals to help them perform better. And then the applications, you could design a technology, you could test a technology, and then you could develop that technology. So that's kind of the uh, research development test and evaluation spectrum of human performance. Try to pursue what you're interested in, what makes you excited, what, what you're passionate about, as a lot of people say, because that's what's going to drive you. And, and you never know, there, there's always going to be a connection, you know, like say with math and science, you can connect that with business, you can connect that with fine arts, you can connect math and science and engineering, in my view, drive the world. It's what we're walking on, what we're wearing, what we're seeing, and so if you know, yes, math and science are important, but also think about what, what makes you excited what, and, and expose yourself to as many things as you can. Basic science and math skills are very important. Math is very important if you are going to help program, if you're going to run experiments and look at statistics. Understanding human nature and, and uh, humans, so even some classes, and they have psychology classes in high school, can help uh, them with those types of information. So definitely the math and the science, and then depending, especially if you want to get into humans and human factors, uh, biology, obviously we're you know, biology-oriented beings, and so understanding how things work, and then I would also say communication is crucial. Uh, so, you know, you could, no matter how smart you are, no matter how much you know, if you can't get it out of your mouth and, and, and pass it on to someone else, it's not going to go anywhere. For kids who are interested in this field and are, are afraid of maybe some of the math and things that they have to take, there are other ways to be in this field without having to focus on the side of math. For example, in psychology, you take some math, but you may not take as much math as you do in engineering. Or if you're learning about culture and um, anthropology, that's another area that's actually very important to, to this field. And what I would say is that sometimes we think we're not good at math or science because it hasn't excited us yet. But once you realize I really love doing this, you want to do better and it becomes easier for you. So we know uh, math is really hard for students to grasp. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see the real world application of how this is ever going to be useful. It's something that a lot of students struggle with. So one thing that really benefits getting kids excited about math and getting students excited about especially really difficult math is really helping them see the real world application. Uh, helping pull in different examples of where they will use it in an area of their lives which is not too far off, which is you know something exciting that um, 
they're really gonna be able to see, oh, this really can help me. You know, it is really important to learn these things. I did like math, but there were many times where I didn't see the point. And a lot of times it becomes a lot more interesting when you can see how the math is going to be used. And for me, when I started to get deeper into the math and the science and to the, sort of the higher levels, that's really when it got interesting. Or uh, in my graduate work, when I started actually using it towards something that I was interested in, then it becomes interesting.